Hello everyone, my name is Taylor and welcome back to Let's Play Hyper Light Drifter. In the last episode we began our adventure and in this episode we will be continuing on our journey. Uh, so as you can see we can't, we can't actually go down this way so the only way to go is right. But uh, there's some areas down here and this area specifically is actually where we're going to be using our key shards from, that we got from the last episode. Uh, we only got one of the key shards but we're going to need two more to progress. But we'll have to unlock that pathway to even use that door. So it doesn't really matter that much. Something that I actually found really interesting. I was kind of thinking about it, you know, um, while I was at work last night. And uh, this world is really interesting because it's kind of it's supposed to supposedly ruled by cats. And cats actually hate water. And they're being murdered by frogs who love water. So that's probably a big part of it that I totally missed. Because I am not the most perceptive at times. Okay, so uh, just a quick note before we come down, uh, that before we continue. I actually had a bit of a recording error. So some of these enemies will be dead and uh, I apologize for that. But we'll just continue on here and just forget and then just forget about it. We'll encounter these enemies again later. Uh, the game auto saves, so there was pretty much nothing I could do. There was just a recording error. So as you can see, we would be pressing down a mechanism there. And then we'd be going to the other side to do the same. But, first, before we do that, we can actually go over, all the way over here. Blam. What is over here? Uh, it's a secret. Yeah, there is a ton. And sometimes you just find medkits back here, but, you know, it can be anything. I think there's three things in total that you can find, but, honestly, I can't... I'm just trying to think of what the third thing does, and I still haven't figured it out yet. It probably has to do with the secret ending or something like that, but... it's one of the, This is one of those games that I've never checked the wiki for. Uh, mainly because I want to discover it on my own if I can. Uh, usually I'm not like that with games, though. Like, with most things, I'll just be like, Ah, I don't really have the time to go through it. I just want to... And I just want to know what happens. Let's just check the wiki. But with this one, it feels a little bit different. A little bit special. Uh, there's another plant up here. You can tell that they're plants uh, by the by if they have like little teeth sticking out of the petals. All right, so we got that bit of currency. How much do we have in total? All right, we'll be fine. So now we're gonna be traveling down here, and we find ourselves here. So yeah. Uh, every single area has its own environmental hazard that, you, that you're going to have to get around. Uh, this fire is definitely this area's version of that. And actually, we can get around a few of these. I was going to say without taking damage, but I'm kind of an idiot and took damage anyway, so... I guess... The joke's on me! Uh, but yeah. I'll just charge up my health there. And grab another medkit. Actually, this right here, it's one of my favorite parts of the game. Because sometimes it'll just be like, yeah, you, you want this, uh, you can see it, but first you're going to have to complete this challenge. It's like the game is throwing down the gauntlet, but I don't have the correct ability to get at that, so that's going to be the first thing we unlock. And we might be able to do that actually in this video, but we'll, we'll see. So we got a health kit. So this will actually progress us further in the level, but what we're going to be doing is not that. We need to get that little key, that little square diamond thing up there uh, before we progress. Because again, we are trying to get all of the key shards in all of these areas. So I'm going to keep that in mind. So now we're going to be progressing upwards. So yeah, you can kind of see the teeth between those, uh, these guys right up here. I actually really like this area. It has some really inventive level design. I, I think they all definitely do, but, um, I don't know. There's something about this one where it's like a mixture of fire and water. Uh, water, oh, 
above ground, fire mostly underground. Uh, snip snap. Ah, oh, that was uncalled for. That was a pretty stupid death. Yeah, uh, those uh, little those little guys who attack you, they're not usually that bad, but if they attack you all in a group, uh, it can be a little menacing if they pin you, which is what happened. I rarely die to them, so... Good, good one on you guys. I'm, I'm happy for you. Alright. So these guys in the suits were actually little raccoon men, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they're actually related to these little guys. But we'll be going to Raccoon World in a little bit. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, people of the internet, but I'm pretty sure they're from the Raccoon World. And that's the world to the east. Alright, so here we are. First off, med kit. Second off, we have our second shard of the key. So now we have two. That door that we saw before had three on that on there, so we're gonna keep that in mind. If you know your way around the, each level, you can actually sequence break a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna be showing that off a little bit right here. Well, not not right here, but in the near future. Because the game doesn't expect you to find the. Uh, the game doesn't really expect you to find any of the secret key shards that are meant to be, uh... The secret key shards are like the ones that are really hidden off the path, which I haven't found any of those yet in this world. But, uh, they're pretty much everywhere. So, uh, okay, one sec, let me... These guys are a pain in the neck, by the way. If you haven't figured it out by my stopping of the talking. And you little raccoon men need to die, please. And thank you. Oh, jeez. I need this currency. I have a problem. He's dead. Is that it? Nope. You know what these uh, flower monsters remind me of? Awesome. But you know what these flower monsters really remind me of? Alright, so I'm going to be... This is a reference that's pretty niche, but if you guys have seen the movie Tremors, you know, the one with the giant, like, ground worms? Well, if you've seen the movies Tremors 2, and they have, like, these weird mut mutant babies, yeah, it reminds me of those, the weird mutant babies from Tremors 2 that could walk on ground. I feel like two of you guys will get it and be like, oh, I remember that. Yeah. Actually, Tremors was one of my all-time favorite movies growing up. Kevin Bacon. I don't know the other actors. I think the uh, the lady actor was actually like pretty famous, but I actually cannot remember who she was. Okay. Oh, who is this guy? We saw him a little bit earlier. Oh, it's our friend. Oh, and he just slaughtered a whole bunch of frogs. Uh, hello? So what he's going to do is he's showing us the locations of each key shard. And I was going to tell him a little bit about his story. So he's trying to get all the key shards to all the areas. He's, And this is actually something I only realized recently. This black monster that he's trying to fight, I, I thought that it was just like a monster that contained the weapon. But it's actually his sickness that he's fighting himself. So, you know how we're fighting that giant, like, weird mammoth monster? This is what he's fighting inside himself. Or herself. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And this character really is, is really interesting, because it's the only other active hunter that you can find. And he's the only member of... I presume he's part of your race. Oh, actually, there's another one in town, but... um, Yeah, it's interesting, because, like... Each of the societies you go to, or the civilizations, I should say, have these races. So some of them will, like, like this one has, like, cat races. Uh, the one to the east has, rac uh, 
has raccoon race, has the raccoon race. The one to the north has a bird race, and the one to the south has a lizard race. But this race of people that you are doesn't really exist. Like, there's no traditional humans either, so I assume these blue skin things are kind of like that. Alright, so here we are at this area that I was talking about before. And let me just... Oh, jeez. Sorry. Knocked over something on my desk. Just gonna check our time. We are good. Alrighty. So we're gonna continue through this area. But yeah, no, I find it interesting that uh, he's the only hunter and, like, he's slaughtering other enemies. Like, our characters are different from all the other characters in the game, which, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Alrighty, so here we find ourselves in another section of the temple, and there's nothing we can do over here. I think it's more foreboding than anything. Ouch. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Alright. Oh, the blobulons. Blob blobulons are attacking me. Bam. Uh... What's down here? I'll come back there in just a moment. Ah! Actually, what I want is probably down here. Hopefully. Raccoon Man, your days are numbered. Alright, so we don't want to go down there yet because there's so much to do left. There's so much to do left. Um, yeah, there's a whole mo There's a whole much... I cannot do words today. Uh, there's a whole lot of secrets in the areas, and that's like half of the gameplay, and it, during my first playthrough, I didn't even see a lot of it. But there's so many secret areas and stuff, and it actually extends the length of the game if you have your eye open for the secret passages along the way. So something to keep in mind is that your gun is incredibly useful, and I haven't been using it as much. Because the enemies are kind of simple. But the gun is actually, I think, at least in the beginning, it's your most powerful asset. Because your sword hits in three bursts, but it's limited. Also, this is what we were looking for. Um, and before we progress downwards anymore, I'm going to actually probably go back and get something. Because that was uh, just like a regular key. You need a certain amount of key... Got it. there's there's key shards, which is what we're kind of just like the four key shards that we got here. And all you can see at the top right, those are I'm just gonna call them key pieces or key squares or whatever. There's too many keys in this games. Too many keys. But anyway, we need those to unlock certain other things. And there's another secret. They're actually and I'll say this right now, that they're all of the secrets in the game are denoted by these little squares right here. So uh, whenever you see one of those, there's gonna be a secret. And it's, like, they're everywhere, pretty much. So, just keep your eye open. Uh, there's no way to go through that without getting damage, I don't think. Maybe I'm just hella bad. Ouch. Unless you, I guess you goad it into attacking and then... Go over it after it's already burned. So now it's time for backtracking. But well, we're going to be getting something pretty cool. And if you were paying attention, you can do this in your own game. Because this is something I kind of found... It's definitely out of the way. And it's an aspect of the game I didn't know until I was pretty much done my, my other save, so... So we're going to be moving back down to this area. You know where we fought that huge gauntlet of dudes? Well, there was a secret little area, but we needed that key piece to progress. So that's what we're going to do.
Okay. So, where was the secret area, you might ask? It's actually... It's over here. Yeah, pretty sneaky. So we got another little bit of currency. And we should be fine to progress. Uh, there's actually a health kit over here, which I'm going to grab. Just in case. Because the next area, th there are some enemies. I remember it being a little bit tough, but I, the last time I played the game was on New Game Plus. So everything is kind of tough. Uh, I guess it's not there. I guess we already got it. And you might be wondering how... Do enemies respawn ever? Uh, yes, they do, but you have to pretty much teleport away from the area and teleport back. So it's a little bit like Dark Souls, actually. Uh, so teleporting is a little bit like resting at a bonfire, and yeah. Bam. We actually now have enough for our upgrade, which is where we're going to go right after we get what we're trying to get here. Some more fire, that's refreshing. All right. Actually, over here, get a little bit of health kit. A little bit of a health kit right there. And I'm going to use it, because if not, I will probably die. Alrighty, so we're going to go down here. Just try to take out everybody with taking minimal damage possible. Minimal damage possible. I'm, I'm really not good with the personal pronouns today. Really not rocking it. Down for the count. I don't think there's anything up there to do with that. These guys, I can just take tank the damage because they're not going to do that much. You really got to get up all up in their grill. Uh, this was also what I was talking about a little bit before. This is one of the secret shards. Like these, are, this is one of the ones that was kind of off the beaten path that you shouldn't be able to find um, because there's eight of those shards in each level, but the main progression of the level without finding any secrets will bring you to... Uh, here we go. The main secret... The main, uh, the main path of each level doesn't have any secrets within it, and you can just pretty much go throughout the game without doing that. Uh, so this is what we were trying to get, like right here. Uh, so I will be doing that and going back home to change my gear. This is something that... There's a lot of outfits in the game, but you don't find, you only find one outfit if you're not going through the secret areas. So that's pretty, I thought that was pretty interesting. And it's just like an interesting thing to do with your game. Like, have a secret kind of hidden feature that only people who secret hunt can get. So actually what we're going to do is, now I said we could teleport everywhere. And that is definitely true. Here. So... I mean, even though I'm in a temple, I can just go right back to the home area. It's actually really sweet in that way. Because you'd expect that you'd have to get out to the overworld. But you don't. You just go wherever, whenever. But I mean, there are negatives. Like, you will have to fight all the enemies again if you were to go back there. Oh, what we're actually doing is going up here. And we're going to be changing our gear. So, you can see that we're wearing this cowl, this sword, and that robot. We can actually change all that. So that's our robot change. I'm going to keep the robot the same, I think. Mostly because I actually love this sword. Because I'm, I'm a big fan of orange, if you haven't been able to tell. And also, I can change my cowl. So now I'm going to be wearing orange. So that's what we're going to be rocking for the rest of the playthrough. Ah, we might find stuff that's better, but I really, really dig me some orange. So as you can see, these are the schematics for what we're going to be looking for. Um, yeah, so we laid that out way in the beginning. But while we're in town, I think I'm also going to grab something else. Boop, 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 boop. See, this is my all-time favorite skill in the game. I love it a lot. It is the speed jump boost. So you know how we've been dashing around, like, a lot? This allows us to chain those dashes together. So uh, this is both a proving ground and also a way to unlock certain things. But uh, And I definitely will not be doing them during the playthrough because it takes a bit of practice. And I don't think I'll be able to talk while... Yeah. So 
This is what the ability I just got was. I can do this now. And as you can see, there's a counter going down in the bottom. I will try this once. Alright. Once. Um, so if we get to 100, we unlock something. Maybe I can do it? Maybe I can do it. Just don't mess it up now. Did it. Cool. Here's the here's the really hard part. For to get what's over here, you need to do it a thousand times. And I haven't even done that in my main game, because it's it's hard. It's definitely hard. And uh actually I can kind of reveal what's over there. It's a little bit of a key piece. That's what uh, is on those specific bodies. So if you want to get all the key pieces, you're gonna have to go and get that one. But anyway, we got a little bit of currency. The next thing that I think I'm gonna get is probably going to be in this building. So anyone who's played the game is going to know what that is, but I won't go too much into detail of what that actually is going to be. So I am going to teleport back to Cat World. And I think... This is actually going to be where I'm going to end off the episode. So in the next episode, we'll be continuing through, the, through our path through this cat world. And we will hopefully be finishing it. Uh, if you guys like this episode, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Uh, and tune in next time for more Hyperlight Drifter. See you guys next time.